This footage looks dramatic, but this rear-facing convertible car seat is performing exactly how it was designed to protect a child in a frontal crash. Head contact for children in crashes is a major cause of injury and death. That's why in 2014, Consumer Reports went beyond even the government's own standards to develop new crash test methods for child seats, which incorporate a simulated front seat back to more accurately evaluate crash protection in a real crash. Based on Consumer Reports' recent car seat testing, we are now urging parents to move older babies from their rear-facing infant carrier to a rear-facing convertible seat sooner rather than later. We tested infant seats and convertible seats rear-facing using a 22-pound dummy representing a one-year-old child. When more than half the infant seats tested, the dummy's head hit the simulated front seat back. But that happened only once during testing of the convertible seats. Based on those results, we are now recommending that all children be moved to a rear-facing convertible seat by their first birthday, even if they haven't yet outgrown their rear-facing infant seat, although many children will have outgrown those seats by this time. A child is technically too tall for their rear-facing infant seat when they exceed its height limits or their head is less than one inch from the top of the carrier's shell. Along with crash performance ratings, Consumer Reports evaluates each seat for ease of use and installation. Convertible car seats that rate well in our testing have features that help you install the seat correctly and make necessary adjustments as your child grows. You can learn more about how to purchase the right car seat for your child in our Car Seat Buying Guide. We're a not-for-profit, pay for all the items we test, and accept no advertising. Thanks for your support.